Yes, you are audible. Okay, so are you a permanent employee of uh, Cognizant or um, through a third party? Okay, and are you currently on notice? Okay. Okay, so let me start with a quick technical questions. Okay, so tell me like how can I identify whether a transformation is active or passive? Just give me a minute. Oh, yeah, sorry so much. Oh. So, yeah, okay. Um, take one scenario. I have a flat file. I don't know the number of records. Okay, for now, let us assume just for explanation, let us assume it is as 10. So I want to divide in two equal halves by equal halves. I mean, the record number one to five in one target, six to 10 in another target. So you got my point, right? I'm not doing odd and even. I'm splitting from half. So how will you implement this scenario in Informatica? But that will be again odd and even, right? I don't need odd and even. How will you get total records?
just one question okay how you get you got a total number of how got how do you got total number of rows sorry i am not i didn't get that point no but how did you get uh, how did you get the total count so you will be using aggregator for getting a count like my question is how will you be calculating the number of rows so do you think expression transformation has the capability to count the number of rows in a file but then aggregator will eliminate all the rows aggregator only give the last row no but of course look if you you need to select a group by right so if you select a group by an employee id for example okay so for every employee id it will give count as one only because every employee id will be unique right and if i don't use any group by what aggregator does it it gives you the last row You know, just think about it. Take your time, because I will be asking the questions on your answer. Okay, so that's why. Right. Take your time. I'm not in any hurry. Oh, sorry but i don't think expression transformation has the capability to get the count if if expression was having that capability then we don't be using aggregator because aggregator has a capability okay if you don't select any group by it returns you last row only then it will give you last row only if you don't select any group by that i am particularly sure Okay, do you want me to change the question? Okay, no sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh there is one workflow in production. It is running from last 5 years. On an average it is taking 1 hour daily. Okay, but suddenly it started taking 5 hours. So what will be your analysis? How will you do your analysis? give me an example of bottleneck source bottleneck no no that's what i am asking like what is the source bottleneck 
how will you identify it is a source portal like no but so it is already running in production right so code is correct so i don't know like why are you talking checking the code correctness so if it is running for in production from last 5 years okay have you implemented partitioning yourself okay I have ping you one question in the chat. Can you check one? How will you implement this in Informatica? but normalizer only works works when there is constant number of columns here columns are increasing in every line Okay, no issue. Oh, um, yeah, I will tell you the answers. Okay, say hey, at the end. Okay, because in some questions the same answer can be used, so that's why. Okay. Uh, have you worked on PL SQL like uh, triggers? Have you worked on SQL execution plan? Okay, no issues. Have you worked on Unix commands? What is SCD command? Okay. Good. Okay. Take one scenario. Um, let me just provide you the data for that. This is my source data. Okay, so what I want is to distinguish a unique and 
a duplicate row so what i will do is like i will give an example for every one unique instance should go to one target like one target should hold a, a b c d okay and second instance will only store the duplicated data like a is appearing two times right so it will store one a because one a will go to unique and second row, row will be duplicated right so that should go to second data second table so it is like i am distinguishing unique and duplicate but i am storing the duplicates in the other data and taking one unique row for every one how will you implement this in informatica Okay. Okay, Sumesh, so that was the list of questions which I was having for you. Okay. Now you can ask me any question, like if you like. Yes. So the so the project is related to like book publishing client. Okay. So we are working for a book publisher, second largest book publisher. Okay. So we are using implementing here through Power Center, Informatica Power Center. Also, there are integrations with Oracle Integration Cloud, ERP Cloud, SQL Server Azure. So we are using these tools also to connect with our Power Center. And we have a quite a like uh, large team. Like we are having fifteen, sixteen members in our team. Okay. Anything else which you want to know? Okay, so me so I will be passing the feedback to the concerned HR like Vinay, I think, and he will be responding you shortly. Okay. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks for joining.